Hi there, I'm Brett Lonsdale from Lightning Tools, and we're here to take a look at how we can migrate from InfoPath forms over to Power App forms. So what you'll notice inside my environment at the moment, I have InfoPath open. Uh, we have uh, an employment application form with inside that InfoPath design experience. Uh, within here, we've got the title of our form we've got a company logo as well and then we've also got uh, a number of fields which of course are different field types uh, we have uh, a lot of string fields we have a number of fields um, we've also got choice fields etc and as we scroll down you'll also see that we've got these repeating sections uh, for things like education and references and also previous employment as well so we're going to take this form design since infopath is going to be deprecated in just uh, just over a year now. Um, so we want to make sure that, first of all, our users are still able to complete the forms, but perhaps more importantly, we're also able to open up the data that has been generated with these forms using some sort of form technology. So with InfoPath, if you're publishing to a form library, we're effectively going to get some XML files that wouldn't be able to um, be opened with InfoPath any longer um, with inside a, a, a year's window. So what we're looking at doing is to be able to generate, in this case, a Power App form that can open up that data and we can continue to operate and stay compliant. So this is the form that we're going to migrate. So let's jump into the Lightning Tools migrator. And what you'll notice is I've already got the employment application form added. Uh, but if you haven't, what we can do is basically can take uh, create a container uh, at the top here. So that's going to be a workspace. And then we can add forms to that container. Now, there's a couple of ways of doing that. Um, if we want to, uh, we can just add from the file system. So if you've got the InfoPath form design uh, file, the, uh, the, the XSN, um, we can just simply pick that and transform or migrate the, uh, the, the form design. Um, or if it's a form that has been published to a form library, uh, we can also do this by pointing directly at the site containing those form libraries and let the migrator discover any forms uh, within inside our environment. And that is the same uh, regardless as to whether it's SharePoint on-premises um, or SharePoint online. So uh, we've got a, a couple of ways where we can do both. We can say from the file system, I open up the file picker. And uh, you can see here in my sample forms is the employment application. And that is the one that we're going to migrate. So uh, we'll just overwrite that one. Uh, let's click on to add, and that will be added uh, into my environment here. So one of the things we can also do is analyze the form. And uh, by analyzing the form, it's going to score it based on the complexity and the portability. And uh, you can see here, we've got the uh, scoring for what the complexity looks like. So this is how many uh, calculations or rules, et cetera, are uh, present inside of the form. And then we've also got the port portability as well. So the likelihood uh, that this uh, form is going to be migrated successfully. Um, if it isn't, 100% successful, uh, don't worry, it will do the majority of the work, it's not gonna fail. Uh, it just means that we may need to do a little bit more more work inside of Power Apps itself. Okay, so uh, we can now read the form. And by reading the form, it's going to allow me to open up the form inside of this intermediate ground called the, uh, the Uniform Previewer. And uh, as you can see, the form here has exactly the same layout, the same rich text, the same company logo, and also the same repeating sections as we saw inside of InfoPath itself. So the form uh, is exactly resembling uh, what that form used to look like. So uh, we can test the form in the uh, in the uniform uh, viewer, uh, but the purpose of that is to ensure that it has been read successfully, allowing us to then deploy to different scenarios. It doesn't have to be uh, Power Apps that you deploy to. It could be Lightning Forms, it could be Skybo, um, it could be Nintex and, and, and so on as well. So we've read that one successfully, we've previewed it, the next step is to write it out. So we're going to click on to write. And uh, you'll see some of those different platforms that we can deploy to if we want to. Um, so what we're going to do here is take the Power Apps option. And using Power Apps, uh, we're going to use an existing Power Apps connection, um, which is inside my, uh, my demo environment. Um, and we're going to deploy to SharePoint lists. So it's going to be a SharePoint list driven application with the Canvas app. Uh, if we wanted to, we could also choose Dataverse instead. Um, so that's uh, an alternative. Obviously, that's going to incur additional licenses uh, and, and so on as well. Um, so the SharePoint connection um, that we're 
uh, working with is um, present here. So this is uh, an existing connection that I already had have I want to um, create a new connection to a new site collection and that new site collection is a brand new SharePoint site uh, I'm going to prove that by just navigating across to the site contents and uh, inside the site contents here um, you'll be able to see that we've just got the standard SharePoint lists and libraries uh, what I'm going to do is just take the URL uh, to that site and then we're going to jump back here and paste that URL into the uh, Lightning Source form migrator. And we're going to authenticate um, using my work or school account, and we'll hit test connection. And um, this will allow me to sign into my account and authenticate. And so now you can see that, that connection test was successful, and uh, we can create that connection. So the next step is to look at the primary SharePoint list name. So this is just basically going to take the name of the form. So employment application, that will be our primary list. And to explain what's going to go on here, we're going to create a sub list for each of those repeating sections. So where we had things like the resume, uh, the uh, employment history, et cetera, they will be separate lists embedded onto the employment application uh, list and form. We've also got an option to choose what would happen if we're rewriting so we can overwrite um, or update the uh, the existing list as well. So once we've done that, we're just going to hit go. And this is now creating those underlying SharePoint lists for me. And uh, we're also creating the form as well. So, uh, so once that is completed, we're going to jump into Power Apps and uh, we'll continue our work there. So. Um, it says that it's completed it. It's giving us a link to open up uh, Power Apps. Um, more importantly, we've got the form location. And uh, what we're going to do is just copy the link to that form. And we can close this down now. Uh, let's go into Power Apps. And what we're going to do inside of Power Apps is, uh, is import uh, that app file. So from the uh, the import option, we're going to choose the, um, the the file location, and here's our employment application .ms app. So we'll double click onto that, and this is going to load the form design exactly as you saw it inside of the uniform viewer and also inside of the InfoPath form design experience as well. Now, there's going to be a few red exclamations just to say that certain things aren't going to work, but that is simply because the connection to the SharePoint lists doesn't yet exist. So we're going to need to go in and just simply reconnect to that uh, SharePoint environment. So this is what we're talking about here. It's all complaining that the, um, the list doesn't exist. So uh, we are going to go across here to data and we're going to add data. We're going to come down to our connectors. We're going to choose SharePoint. This is the SharePoint environment that I'm going to connect to. And um, we will once again grab the URL from that SharePoint site, drop that in here, and let's connect to it. And these are the lists that have been generated. Uh, so you can see those there if we just go back and refresh. In fact, uh, our SharePoint site, you'll be able to see those lists are, are present. OK, so uh, so back to, uh, to, to Power Apps, we'll reconnect to those. Click Connect. And you can see that all of those red remarks have now gone away. Um, we can uh, jump up here to test the uh, the app and uh, see that everything uh, is, is looking fine. Uh, and then we can execute that app as well. And uh, notice in here we've now got a form that we can test and fill out with choice fields, uh, et cetera, all working. And uh, in here, we also have our education repeating section. We have our references uh, repeating section and also previous employment and uh, the resume section for our attached files. OK, so there's our uh, SharePoint lists um, being populated. And uh, yeah, we also have the ability to, uh, of course, submit and save that data uh, directly to the SharePoint uh, form. So as we navigate 
here into the employment application list now. You can see that we've just uh, generated a new row of data. So um, I'm sure you're uh, keen to learn how we can also convert data as well. So um, what we're actually going to do here is uh, is migrate another example. Um, that is going to be PTO requests. This is this time going to come from a form library. In fact, sorry, we're going to go with contacts. So contacts is actually a form library um, which uh, contains some data. It's just got a few rows of data. So we can again read this. We can preview it, and it's just a very simple contact form, uh, but does contain some some data that we uh, we want to use. So I'm going to write that out, and uh, this time um, we're going to choose Lightning Forms uh, as an option. Um, I'm going to use the same SharePoint connection, the same form name, um, and uh, the same options there in terms of regenerating the lists. So that again is creating the lists, it's uh, creating the forms, etc. for me, and it has now uh, generated it. So um, once again, we'll just close this down and let's go back into SharePoint. We'll again refresh the page. And in here is the contact list, which is currently empty. So there are no rows of data that have been migrated. So what we're going to do is just jump straight back into the migrator. And this time we're going to hit convert. And what we're going to do is convert from the source uh, form library. Uh, so there's the URL to that form library to the destination form library, which is the employment application site um, to this list called contact. And you can see it's found the, the relevant fields. Uh, and all we need to do is start our migration. And uh, that migration is now going through and migrating those three rows of data. Uh, so uh, one more time, we're just going to jump into SharePoint here. Let's right click. Reload. And you can now see the data has been converted. So we've done a successful form design migration from InfoPath across to Power Apps. Um, and we've also taken a form library with its data and the custom form and uh, and taking all of that over to a new SharePoint list as well, uh, which is actually being driven by Lightning Forms. All right, I hope you found this useful. If you'd like to arrange a private demonstration, please do so. Um, visit lightningtools.com and you'll be able to see into the form migrator product uh, where you can book a demo and you can also arrange to have a trial as well. All right, I hope you found this useful and speak to you soon. Many thanks, bye-bye.